Selena helped bring it to the forefront and introduced it to much of the world. But the Texas-based musical genre we call Tejano has a history that goes back for decades. Documented accounts say its evolution began in northern Mexico, a variation known as Norteño. American jazz and big bands for the further the revolved the Tejano music into where we know it today. Rudy Trevino now shows us the hits. They are the voices and melodies long forgotten. The music, mere echoes of the indigenous people whose genetic makeup was a mixture of Native American, Spanish, European, with a dash of assimilation. A unique melding of what would one day be the impetus, the inspiration for millions of Tejano artists. No, Manuel Ayala is among a handful of South Texas music historians who says to know our music is to know our culture and more importantly the language which in and of itself is unique. We've heard much of the Native American Navajo wind talkers who used their language to elude the enemy during World War II while using radio communications. So too the Tejanos. The evolutionary movement turned into a culture, from clothing to music embracing American styles and adopting a cooler version of dress in the 40s and 50s, which ushered in the Zoot Suit era, turned Chicano in the 60s and 70s. Along the way, the culture's music also evolved. It's a mezcla de la canción americana, and we grabbed it y le metimos el sabor mexicano. Dr. Alberto Rodriguez, associate professor and director of the Mexican-American Studies Institute at Texas A&M Kingsville, calls this Texas-based music an original American genre. To me, the history of, of Tejano music is it's embedded. It's embedded in our culture. It's been there uh, before I was born. Recordando. 